Deep Murder is currently streaming on Shudder, and it is a comedy horror porn parody starring Jerry O'Connell and Christopher McDonald. Now, this is one that I looked up on IMDb. It had a 3.9, and usually anything below a 4, I'm like, oh, I don't know. But I watched like maybe 10 seconds of the trailer, and I was like, you know, I'm interested in this. Fuck it, I'm going to check it out. So I threw it on, and I will say this right up front. Like, this is a uh, acquired taste kind of thing. This is one of those, you're either going to get it, or you're really not going to get it. It, It's going to have its audience, and that audience might be small, but I was in that audience. This is kind of a culty type movie in the future, Man, I laughed a lot. I laughed a lot during this movie. It is super juvenile, dumb as all hell. This is like as close as I could come to what I guess people would consider a guilty pleasure, but I never feel guilty about what I like. But I did sit there going, wow, I probably shouldn't be finding this as funny as I do. And I know that most people that I talk to would watch this and be like, this isn't funny. This is this is idiotic, and absolutely it's idiotic. But it's idi- It's just idiotic enough to be funny, and not so idiotic that I was rolling my eyes like, "Oh fuck!" Did every single joke land for me? No, but some jokes, a good majority of them, I'm telling you, there's this sequence in this <laughs> where they're throwing a football. That's all I'm gonna say, and it's like a two to three minute scene, and I laughed the entire time, like out loud. I thought it was that funny. I, I I don't know, this one just landed for me. So essentially what it is, is uh, there is a bunch of characters that are, it's never explicitly said that they're in a porno, but they all act like pornography characters. Here's the thing. I thought throughout the movie it was going to be revealed that these characters were stuck in a porno. But I guess that's just for the audience to surmise for themselves. And all the characters have the typical porn character tropes. You know, you've got the girl who's a scientist, and then you've got a girl who's the babysitter, and you've got the slutty mom, and then you've got... You know, the the husband who's getting cheated on and you've got the real kinky guy and then you got the black guy who seems to only know about sports and you've got like there's and then there's this detective that comes over because a murder happens in the house and he's there to try to solve it. And he's like the worst detective ever. And then random people keep showing up at the door that are other porn, um, you know, uh, cameo type characters like the pizza delivery guy who's got a large sausage and lots of hilarious gags. What I found to be hilarious, just one after the other of just uh, porn stereotypes kind of being thrown at you. And it's these characters are, they're limited to the knowledge of what a porn character would know. And their intellect is as strong as that as well. So it's like really bad acting on purpose, really, really dumb characters that seem to only understand how to have sex and how to do something that's very limited to that character's, what that character would need to know in a moment within porn. And it just, it's a really interesting concept. And, and, they just, it landed for me. Cause as I said, like these characters, they're in the house. They're all kind of in different pornography scenarios. Um, there's a wife who's cheating on her husband upstairs. There the, there's the two friends hanging out and then the babysitter comes in and, you know, and is like, I'm not supposed to get off for a while. Can somebody help me out with that? You know, just real, real on the nose humor. I loved it. And so then one of them gets murdered and the de- the detective comes over and they try to solve the murder. And it's a slasher movie. It's a porno slasher movie. And it's funny because just before this one, I watched Knife Plus Heart, which was a slasher movie 
on a gay porn set. And then last night, I watched the newest Into the Dark episode, which was a gay slasher. So it was like a gay slasher into a gay slasher that was set on a porno set into a movie that's set on a porno or that's set on a porno set. <laughs> so it's like they're all connected, every movie I'm watching in a row right now. But man, like some of these jokes, I don't want to say any of the jokes. I actually contemplated being like, here, here's like a line. I kind of already gave you one with the getting off line, but there was another one about a guy admitting that he's a virgin to this doctor character and what she says to try to empathize or make him feel better fucking just cracked me up. I was, I had to like, I had to go on Facebook and write it down immediately and put it out because I just thought it was so funny. I laughed a lot. A lot. <laughs> so this mileage may vary. So this is what I will say to you. Go in, watch five or ten minutes. If you are not finding it funny, if you're like, this is way too stupid, way too idiotic for me, then shut it off. You're not going to get the rest of the movie. That is the tone throughout. If you're laughing there, you're going to laugh throughout. There's this sequence where they're in a shower and there's steam. I don't want to say anything more, but fuck, man. I really, really liked this one a lot. A lot, a lot. This, one, this is like probably my favorite horror comedy of the year off the top of my head. I mean, I'm, I'm, that's probably wrong. I'm probably just not remembering one right now. But And there's actually some graphic gore in this, too. There's one kill where a guy gets his head crushed in, and it was pretty gnarly. Um, so, big thumbs up from me. So, yeah, fuck IMDb on this one. This is one of the first movies I've seen that's below a four that I completely disagree with. But what's funny is if you go into the reviews, most of them are a ten or a six. Like, it's a 10 and a 6, and then there's like 1-1 one, one or something, but everything else is like 10s and 6s. Um, I'd probably come in maybe somewhere in the middle of that. I don't do ratings on the channel, but if I had to come in for the kind of film it is, it's like an 8. It's I really enjoyed the hell out of this one. I laughed a whole lot. I thought this was really smart, dumb humor in a lot of places, and uh, we even got the chick from The Flash in here. Uh, who I just think is adorable. One thing I will say, though, that I was kind of annoyed with, I guess, is it's a slasher movie. And what does a slasher movie need? It needs kills. It has kills. And tits. And this is a porno set where these characters are all porno characters. There's not a tit in the movie. Couldn't believe it. And all the chicks are hot. And I know that that chick from The Flash has done nude scenes in other movies. So I'm like... Why are there no why is there no nudity in this movie outside of a, a a male dick that you get like right up against the screen for a second. But outside of that, yeah, there's no nudity and I was really kind of taken aback by that cuz of the movie. I mean, it just it was if any movie needed freaking nudity, this is it. So that was very odd. Um yeah. Anyways, let me know if you check it out. Let me know if you've seen it. The two people I've talked to, Brad Thornton and uh, freaking uh, Brandon uh, from uh, Brandon Orlick from Exploding Heads, we we all loved it, or really enjoyed it. So I don't know. Everyone I know who's watched it has really enjoyed the hell out of it. So let me know if you guys watch it. Adios.